Hello everyone, today we will be looking at the Ubiquiti Unify Pro Max 16 Switch. I'm going to retire my old Cisco uh, uh, Switch in my room and replace it with this guy because I have a, a 10 gigabit computer and a 2.5 gigabit uh, uh, computer. I have a couple computers here in my uh, work area and I wanted to take advantage of those higher speeds. So this is a fun switch because it has ether lighting. Um, it's actually um, um, recently new. I think it came out like a year, year and a half ago. So it's got uh, uh, LEDs um, on the ports that uh, lights up different colors. So you can tell uh, set VLANs or devices uh, different colors so you can visually see uh, what they are on the switch. And yeah, this should be fun. So I'm going to do an unboxing of it. But let's go ahead and take a quick uh, look at some of the specs of this switch because uh, for the price point, it's pretty awesome. So um, this is the switch that I will unbox. So it has, uh, even though it is a one use switch, but you might need a longer rack ears to mount on the rack because it's kind of small and compact. We'll see when we uh, unbox it. Um, it's got a 1.3 inch touchscreen with AR switch management, as you can see. 12 uh, 1 gigabit RJ45 ports, 4 2.5 gigabit RJ45 uh, port, and 2 SLP 10 gig ports. Uh, I'm going to use one to uplink to my 10 gig aggregation switch, and then use the other one for my PC. And looking in the back here, uh, you can see that there is uh, power, uh, power input here, uh, USB-C. Uh, it does have layer 3 switching capability, and it is silent, fanless uh, cooling system, which is good because this is actually my bedroom, and uh, having a fanless switch uh, would be great, so it won't be loud when I'm uh, sleeping. So if you see here, this is what's cool about it. It's got uh, all the ports, uh, RJ45 ports have ether lighting, and it illuminates to indicate like port location, speed link, and native VLAN, and this is the size of the switch here in millimeters. Um, if you get the ether light patch cables, you can see the light a lot clearer. So that's recommended. Um, so yeah, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. This is everything in the box visually here, but I'll go ahead and, um, get that, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and show it to you guys here. So yeah, it's a neat little switch here and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, go back to the, uh, unboxing part of it. So this is the retail packaging. So uh, very uh, ubiquity unified, just kind of like a brown box and like the, the actual switch, uh, the front of the switch. And it's kind of uh, feels like it's embossed or something. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Got the seal of approval down here. It's made in Vietnam. So kind of standard brown box here. Nothing special. So let's go ahead and pop it open, which you have this little tab here. Uh, yep, you just go ahead and go, woo, and it's gone. And then installation guy, QR code here, so if you want to check it out. Yeah, this is what it looks like in the box. Aerial view. So you got the switch and then your uh, hardware here. So let's go ahead and pull it all out. All right, that's everything in the box. Get rid of the foam here. Oh, look, it's got a little leveler. So I think that's here. It's, uh, there's a template here. If you want to screw it on a wall, you can. And uh, it comes with a nice little leveler, leveler there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here's the switch. So here's, uh, it is a one use switch, but little little tiny guy. I'm not gonna mount it on my rack. Um, since this is going in my room, obviously. So it's probably just going to be sitting on a desk or or somewhere. So it's really heavy. Um, steel design, um, like most of their, uh, all their stuff. So very, uh, feels very high quality. Um, you got the screen here, as we saw earlier. Here's the 12 uh, gigabit ports. Here's a 2.5 and here's a 10G, which is noted on there. You got the little reset button and two SFP plus ports. So yeah, very, uh, as you can see, very sturdy design here. Love it. And let's see what is in this guy. Okay, so you got rack ears. So, 
I don't think this will fit on a rack though, because I think these rack here might be for something else, maybe for the wall or something. I guess we'll take a look at it. Um, okay, so here's the plug. So it's this white cable here with this type of three prong plug. And then you got your distribution power brick here, there, with the Mickey Mouse style plug to the USB C in the back. And then here's instructions. And you got looks like feet for your desk. And uh, I think this is a little, I'm not sure what this is. This little guy. Maybe to open something up. I don't know. Open the tabs. But yeah, you got your rubber feet. And, and then you got your, looks like wall screws. Wall screws here. Yeah, it looks like four. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it in here. So I'll go ahead and top this guy out. And then, yeah, so you got rack ears and some hardware. So let's look at the instructions just to see uh, what are your mounting options here. Okay, I'm going to switch back over here. Um, so this is a unified uh, kind of quick instruction and what you get in the box here. So if you look here, um, there's actually two ways that they recommend to set up. So here, if you have 10G internet, they recommend, of course, using the SFP port here and then plug into power. But if your internet is in 10G and 2.5, if you want 2.5 speed, you click up your internet to the 2.5 uh, uh, gateway to the 2.5 here. So internet to gateway to 2.5 or internet to gateway to 10G. So depending on your network speed, obviously, if you got a 10G network at home, use the SFP port. If two point if you have the two point five gigs, um, use the two point five gig port here as on the screen here, and then you can do everything in the app once you download it. So the interesting part is on the mounting. So I thought uh, these were rack ears, but it's actually for the wall. So if you look here uh, closely, um, if you want to mount it up like on the wall here, you pop the sides open here. So I guess uh, you got the sides here that you can pop open. So I think that's what this guy is for, this little white tool, um, is to pop the sides open here. And then uh, going back to the window capture, uh, you would use the two brackets that came with the unit. So these are the two brackets. So they're not rack ears, they're just brackets uh, here. And then going back, um, you pretty much just mount one screw into the rack ear here and then anchor it into a wall and then you can plug it in so so these are the tools you need and there's a leveler there and then that there's the template for you to mount it on the wall there's how you screw it and this is all the devices uh, all the stuff that you need here so yeah so yep so there's a little device there to pop the size open so all the stuff is online um and you can pretty much hook it up it's pretty easy to do but yeah so these are just actually it's not for your rack but it's actually just to mount it on the wall like in your office because this is kind of like a desktop switch it's not a rack switch so that's what all these hardware is for if you want to mount it me i'm not going to mount it i'm just going to leave it hanging on my desk there so that's pretty much it there so last thing let's look at some of the specs here real quickly before I end the video. This is just an unboxing and kind of a, a demonstration of what's in the box and what you can do with everything out of the box. And I'll do another video on the performance and everything on there. So, uh, yeah, let's look at the specs now. Alrighty, so here are the specs here. So, you know, like earlier before, I showed you guys the dimension. So this is an inch if you guys are interested. 12.8 by 6.3 by 1.7. Port layout, 12 RGB, 4, 2.5, 2 SLP. It does have layer 3 capabilities. Uh, form factor is 1U. So if you do want to rack mount this, you'll need to get special ears for it. And it does have ether lighting, uh, switching capabilities, 84 gigabits, non-blocking throughput, 42, forward rate, 62, supported VLANs, 1,000, uh, back address table, 60,000, and L3 table size here. 
buffer size, and this is all it can do DHCP, DHCP relay, inter uh, VLAN routing, and I get the, all that good stuff. And here's all the wonderful layer two stuff here. The reason why I got this was because of this feature here. Um, I'm going to hook this up to my old Synology NAS, and I want to uh, port aggregate it so that it could, uh, since it's only got like four one gigabit. Uh, um, network ports on there. I wanted to see if I could combine it and uh, make the throughput a little bit more without having to buy a newer NAS. Uh, let's see here. So this is all the layer two switching here. And this is the hardware max power consumption, 25 watts, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah. So all this can be found on their webpage, but I just kind of want to scroll down. And if you want to look at it, you could pause and uh, take a look at the specs in one area instead of searching for it online. So yeah. All right, so I have the router now, or the switch now plugged in, and that's uplink to my switch aggregation, which on my rack is this guy here. So I don't have the long enough cable I ordered it, but this guy here is going into bedroom there. So that's how everything hooked up on my rack here. Now it looks like the switch is now booting up after it updated. So this is kind of like the boot up sequence with the light going back and forth. And the LCD screen says about three minutes out. Okay, so now I logged into my um, um, Unified Cloud Gateway, and uh, it already picked it up after it booted up. As you can see, new device detected, USW Pro Max here, a little notification window popped up here, and you will also see it here, pending adoption, USW Pro Max 16. Uh, click here to adopt, but you can just hit the add button here on the notification, and it will think. And looks like it's now adding, so it's going to take about five minutes. So we'll go ahead and speed up the video from here. Okay, looks like it booted. Now it says getting ready. Looks like another five minutes. So it looks like it says it's uh, um, updating something. Oh, updating touchscreen. Interesting. Okay, looks like it's now uh, booting back up. And as you, can screen, as you can see here, it's pretty much good to go. So now it's fully adopted into my network. So now I got four uh, Ubiquiti devices here. Got the Pro Max aggregation, Pro Max 16, and U7 Pro. And looks like it got an IP and we're good to go. So we could uh, look into this here. And this is uh, the information here that you can see. Um, I'm only using one port right now, which is this guy here. And yeah, it looks like everything is good to go. It's got an IP address and everything. And, uh, it's got 10 gigabits, uh, right now, as you can see. So clicking out of this. So everything is up to date here. System stats. So it's just turned on. So this is the setting here. This is the colors. That you could probably, I think you could set, yeah, you could set the, this is on default colors for 2.5, um, FE, gigabit, 10 gigabit, set brightness. Uh, right now it's on DCP, but I'll probably set it to static. And yeah, so that's the settings here on the switch. So yeah, that's pretty much a quick setup, really easy to adopt. And as you can see here, IP address, uplink, 10 gigs, and parent devices, the aggregation switch. So I think we should be good to go here. Okay, so now I'm in my USW Pro Max 16 interface here. So uh, my Synology has four one gig ports on it and I wanna aggregate those um, to these four ports here. So I'm gonna click on this and then we're gonna do manual. And on here, instead of switching, we're gonna do aggregation. And right now, it's it, you can only aggregate ports uh, that is in sequence next to each other. It's not like you could aggregate port one, 
port 10, port 13. So if you start on port one, then it'll be one, two, three, four. So since I'm aggregating four ports, I'm gonna click here. And then these, I'm just gonna leave alone for now and just change that setting. I'm gonna hit apply. And as you can see here, port one through four is now aggregated. So now that it's aggregated, I'm going to um, um, hook up my Synology on here and see if uh, it can see it on the LAN. I've already set um, port aggregation on my Synology on all four of the NIC cards, uh, all four of the RJ45 ports on there, and it's already got a static IP address. So let's see if it picks it up once I plug it in. Okay, so if you look here, see port one, two, three, four on the gigabit switch on the gigabit side here. I got four of them plugged here and four of them plugged in the back here. Um, excuse the mess. Uh, I ordered some more cables, some better cables. These are just old cables that I'm just using right now. And right now I hook them all up, all four uh, ports in the back of my Synology to link aggregate and four up here. So let's go ahead and check out the computer and see uh, once I boot this guy up. Let's see if it sees it. So I already set, like I said, I already set a, a static IP address on this guy already and it's already set to lag uh, on, on my Synology OS. So it should just work. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so if you look on it here, it looks like it's finally booted up. It looks like it sees all the link here. And with the ether lighting, these cables aren't good. Like I said, I bought some mono price one that's clear, that's cheaper, and I got the right length. But it looks like everything's uh, pretty much uh, boot up. So let's check on the computer. Okay, so I'm waiting for the Synology to boot up, and then we'll refresh the page. Okay, so now. Looking at the computer here, after we refresh, looks like it refreshed by itself. It sees right here, everything's working. Port one, this is the main one of the link aggregation and it sees my Synology right here. So I think we should be good to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my webpage here and go 231 and yeah, it sees it. Yeah, we're good to go. Um, it looks like it sees, uh, it sees my disk station here and uh, I am up and running really easy. This is how you link aggregate on uh, Unify's uh, ecosystem, which is really, really easy to do. Much easier than the Cisco one too. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the uh, unboxing of this guy here. It's really a nice little neat device. I'm looking forward to um, replacing my old Cisco one. My old Cisco uh, 8, I think 8, 8 or 10 port switch, whatever it was, uh, with this guy here uh, with all the updated technology and uh, updated speed. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you like the video, you know what to do. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, I'll put the link below if you're interested in it. And, uh, yeah, uh, have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.